the topic of finance is ubiquitous in our everyday lives. To understand the machinery of finance and the mechanics that govern its working, we must look through the lens of mathematics. The way mathematics is used in finance is completely analogous to how mathematics is used in physics. Fundamentally, it is used as a tool which represents models of the context, which in this case is financial and physical systems. One of the most important mathematical models that is utilized in the realm of finance is the Black-Scholes equation. The Black-Scholes equation is a mathematical tool that is used to value the price of options over time. In finance, options are simply a contract that give the holder the right to buy or sell a stock at a certain price by a specific date. The intriguing aspect of the Black-Scholes equation is that it is derived from the diffusion equation, which is also known as the heat equation. What's interesting is that here we see a direct overlap of the use of mathematical tools in finance and physics. Both the Black-Scholes equation and the heat equation have the exact same mathematical form. The form of these two equations is presented as partial differentials. As mentioned, both equations have an identical mathematical structure, but they model the evolution of two completely different quantities. The Black-Scholes equation models the evolution of the price of an option over time, whereas the heat equation models the evolution of temperature distribution over time, more specifically, the diffusion of heat in both time and space. The only difference between the two equations is the quantities which are inputted into the equation. The Black-Scholes equation deals with the variables v, t, s, and sigma. The variable v represents the value of the option and is both a function of s and t. You can think of v as the predicted price of the option, hence its value. t represents the time until the option's expiration. Remember how we said that an option is a contract subjected to a time constraint. The variable S is simply the current stock price of the underlying asset. Sigma represents the volatility of the stock price. This actually represents the stochastic process that is built into the nature of the stock price. Volatility is considered a stochastic variable as it represents the random fluctuations in the price that cannot be determined with certainty. Time for a short question. Which variable in the Black-Scholes equation is representative of a stochastic process? A. The value of the asset. B. The time. C. The stock price. D. The volatility. Pause the video and try to answer. The correct answer is D. The volatility. The heat equation deals with the variables u, t, kappa, and x. The form of the heat equation that is stated here is for the one-dimensional case. This can simply be transformed to two and three dimensions, simply by adding the second-order derivative of u with respect to the additional spatial coordinate, or multiplied by the constant kappa. Here, U represents the temperature at a point in a medium at a given time t, hence U is a function of both x and t, more specifically, U is a function of space and time. T simply represents the time duration that the heat transfer occurs. X represents the spatial position of the point of interest, and shows the spatial variability of the temperature. The constant kappa which is sometimes denoted as alpha, represents the thermal diffusivity. Thermal diffusivity is a property that is unique to the medium and is the rate of heat diffusion within the given medium. Time for another short quiz. What is the mathematical form of the three-dimensional heat equation? A, B, or C? Pause the video and try to answer. The correct answer is B. Any similarities here between the two partial differential equations? A key similarity that can be drawn 
is the significance of both constants within each equation, sigma, and kappa. As mentioned, the constant sigma is representative of the variability of the price of the asset that is caused by fluctuations. Overall the variable represents an element of uncertainty. As well as this, the constant kappa also represents a degree of variability. In this case, kappa represents how quick heat will diffuse in a medium. Both the volatility and the thermal diffusivity can be seen as analogous, due to the fact that both variables represent a degree of uncertainty, or variability. Volatility, and thermal diffusivity, both contribute significant roles to the overall evolution of the system that is being modeled. Just as volatility affects the range of the price of the asset, the thermal conductivity affects the rate of heat transfer within a medium. While these similarities do exist, it is important to note that the heat equation and black skulls equation are used to describe two different physical systems. The conventional form of the black skulls equation is presented as shown. This equation is then transformed into the form of the heat equation using the Feynman CAC theorem. By doing this transformation, it is then possible to use numerical methods to analyze the behavior of option prices. Not only this, but by doing this transformation we gain an increased understanding of the equation, as it is seen from a different perspective. From this new perspective, an understanding of the underlying mathematical structure of the equation can arise.